Welcome everyone to my SE figure arts comparison between the two Spider-Man No Way Home integrated suit, the third part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe trilogy. So the one on the left is the original version that came out almost two years ago, and the one on the right is a recent release known as the Final Battle Edition. So the reason why Bandai Tomorrow Nations gave us two is because when the first one came out, it was kind of promoted even before the movie was shown in theatres. So they based it on promotion photos and trailers. After watching the movie, of course, we know that it needed changes and an upgrade. And of course, after knowing the other two Spider-Mans were in the movie, they decided to release those figures and give us a upgraded version of this just to go with those two. And in this video, I'm just going to give you the comparison in terms of the sculpt, the paint, the accessories, and just my overall opinion, whether it's worth the upgrade, especially if you already have the original. So before we begin with the two figures, you can see from the packaging, it's slightly different. The one on the left, the original one, is the standard smallest box because it doesn't have that many accessories. And it costs only around 30 US dollars. And then the one on the right, you can see, is the medium box because you get a lot more. And this was around almost 80 US dollars. So there's actually a big price jump. So you, you can kind of get an idea whether it's worth the upgrade in terms of that. So I'm going to put the two packagings away. And then we can focus on the two figures itself. So you can see that the build is already different. They haven't just given us the same figure and just painted it different with new accessories. You can see that the Final Battle Edition is a lot bigger, a lot more stocky. And to me, it feels a lot more accurate in the movie. It actually feels like Tom Holland is in the suit. Whereas the original one, uh, they kind of just molded it like the previous SH figure on Spider-Man. Uh, it's a decent figure, but I just feel that it's kind of too thin for me. I always preferred my figure to be a bit more stocky, and this one is probably a bit more accurate. And you can see the original one, of course, one of the main reasons a lot of people uh, knew that it wasn't accurate is because they added these arm guards. And this was based on promotion photos. And of course, in his Iron Spider suit, he had these on. So when they released this version, uh, for some reason, they added it in, which is not accurate. Everything else I think is a decent figure, but you can see that the colors are a lot more subtle. Uh, the gold isn't as shiny as the new one. It's a decent figure and I think it's okay for the price, but of course we definitely needed upgrades. So here is the Final Battle Edition. You can see not only the build, uh, the colors really pop on this one, not just the red, the navy blue or black, and then especially the gold. I think this really stands out on the figure. And just looking at the back, you can see there's a major difference. Uh, the Final Battle one really shines through. And this is one of my favorite Spider-Man suits in the MCU. So it was important they had to get it right. And you can see that the new one just really stands out a lot more. This one is just a bit more dull to me in terms of the paint. And also the build, I think this one's a bit more accurate. And one other thing I noticed is the head sculpt. Uh, the original one, they kind of just based on previous Spider-Man SH figure arts they released. Uh, very standard. But they made changes actually to the new one. You can see that it has a more fuller face. And it kind of just feels like a man in a mask. Whereas the other one just seems like a sculpted head. So I definitely prefer the new one as well. So apart from being a bit more accurate to the film, the build is nicer and the head sculpt is nicer as well. So that's just a quick look in terms of the overview shot of the two integrated suits. And now we can switch up some of the accessories and compare them as well. So for the accessories out of the box, both of the figures come with the natural closed fists. Also on both of the figures, we get the relaxed palms, which can be used, of course, for the wall crawling hands. Both the figures also come with a set of web shooter hands. And both figures also include a set of thumbs up hands, which is used for holding onto a web. And this is where the Final Battle Edition has improvements, as it also includes another set of open palms. And it will also get a set of hands to hold on to some accessories, as well as a set of hands of the pointing of the fingers, which of course is to create that meme with the other Spider-Mans. The next accessory that both of these figures have is the medium size length of the webs. So you can see that both of them are more or less the same and they combine well with the web shooter hands. So the one on the left, the original version, is kind of a basic transparent look. But I can see on the Final Battle Edition, they've kind of changed up the design of the webs. 
this one it has a bit more design to it it seems a bit more brighter and to me it looks a bit more realistic in terms of the webs but in terms of its functionality it's more or less the same and the length is the same as well and here is what sets the final battle edition apart is we get a set of short webs and this is something we've seen in the previous spider-man sh figure arts but for some reason they didn't include it in the original integrated suit but they've added it in the new one and also for the final battle edition we get the extra long web which is for the swing pose and this is an accessory that we've seen in the past sh figure arts spider-mans before in terms of the other accessories the new final battle edition also includes some alternative eyes which i'm going to switch up now and here is the alternative eyes placed on, which gives it a in-battle mode for a more menacing look. You also get the unmasked Peter Parker look on the Final Battle Edition. In the original integrated suit, you can still get this look, but you have to buy the black and gold suit figure. And it's not just the original look of Peter Parker, we also get a battle damage version, hence the name Final Battle. So this has the scratches on the face sculpt, and this can be used for either the apartment fight scene with Goblin, or the final fight with Goblin as well. And another accessory in the Final Battle Edition is the unmasked look, so the mask in hand. And this is an accessory that we don't see too often in the SH Figura Spider-Man line. It's only the second time as the first one was in the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man figure. And one final accessory we get in the Final Battle Edition is the Magic Box, which of course had many scenes in the movie. So this is definitely a nice bonus. So now for my final thoughts on the two Spider-Man No Way Home SH figure arts for the integrated suit. For me, there's only one winner and that is the Final Battle Edition on the right as it's a much improved figure compared to the one on the left. Don't get me wrong, the original was decent for its price, but I think it lacks accessories and it's not that accurate to the film. Whereas the new one, I really like the look in terms of the colours. They pop a lot more. We have the battle damage look on the chest emblem. We also have a more muscular look. We get a lot more accessories like the webs, the hands. We also have the alternative head sculpts, the mask on its own, as well as the bonus accessory like the magic box. So in terms of the price, of course, it's a lot more, but I think it's worth the upgrade, especially if you're going to buy the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and the amazing Spider-Man in this line. I think it's best to have the best integrated suit to go with it. So my score for the original is a 6 out of 10, whereas the new one, Final Battle, is going to get a 8.5 out of 10. So like, comment and subscribe and let me know which one you prefer. Of course, take into account on the budget. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the reviews of both of these. I will put the links in the description below. And of course, stay tuned for more related to the SH Figure Arts. Thanks for watching and hope to see you very soon.